In a pleasant morning, Mark reached very early to his office, for the commencement of the meeting. While arranging the conference room, he noticed one of the LED light is not working. So he called the assistant, and asked about the defect happened. He checked for the flaws, and explained him about the connectivity issues. Mainly the positive is connected to negative, and negative to positive, which is similar to the reverse biased condition, where the p-type is connected to the anode, and n-type is connected to the cathode. By this, depletion region gets widened, and blocks the current flow in the circuit, and the LED does not glow. To make it bright, positive and negative should be connected to their appropriate connections, nothing but positive to positive, and negative to negative. And now, it is similar to forward biased condition, where p-type is connected to the cathode, and n-type is connected to the anode. And in this case, depletion region gets narrow, and the current flows in the circuit. Meanwhile, Mark asked the assistant about the process of reconstruction. Usually, there would be three level of energy band gaps. When free electrons flow from the lower state, valence band, to the holes of higher state, conduction band, light is produced in the forbidden energy gap. In a museum, due to some reasons, a security guard was ordered to allow only 10 people to the entrance at a time. At the beginning, six people came to visit the museum. But, they were not allowed inside by the security guard, as instructed by the superiors. In few minutes, another group of people came, which is more than 10. At this point, security guard allowed 10 people among the group, which was his default constraint. As time passes, the count increases, but continuously, he said only 10 people at a time. This scenario, is something similar to the functionality of Zener diode where the security guard is a reverse bias Zener diode, people to be the voltage, and museum as the output. The people, who were sent by the security guard is the specified Zener diode voltage, that is 10 voltage. When the reverse voltage given to the Zener diode, exceeds a certain specific amount, Zener breakdown occurs. The voltage at which the breakdown occurs is nothing but, the Zener voltage. Whenever the breakdown occurs, the Zener diode will allow, only its constant Zener voltage, as the output.